Nick Ottenbacher. I'm a Southeast Michigan realtor. Um, as of recently, I've been doing a lot of research on EXP. Anybody that's in the real estate industry has certainly, you know, heard of EXP. You know, they've been pitched EXP and they've done their research on EXP. Um, I'm not going to go over the nuts and bolts of what EXP is, um, but basically what they are is a cloud brokerage founded in 2009 and they're kind of getting away from the brick and mortar uh, model. So the same way you think of Blockbuster and Netflix, that's kind of the same way you look at, you know, any of the traditional franchise brokers, you know, Keller Williams, Century 21, Remax versus EXP. Uh, me personally, I'm with Keller Williams, so I'm heavily comparing the two. Um, when I look at you know, the splits in terms of saving money, you know, everything's very, very similar between Keller Williams, EXP. Um, one thing that is unique to EXP is their stock, agent owned stock. Um, I'm not too familiar with it, but you know, during certain milestones with the company, like your first sale, your first recruit sale, you know, so many sales per year, you get awarded stock. Um, and the way I looked at it, it's, um, about three years before you can really cash in on that but it's certainly a very strong incentive and probably the most attractive perk to exp would be the revenue model um, you know keller williams i think they're known for profit share but revenue and profit share um, I, I don't even think you can really compare the two on an even level um, revenue share really blows it out of the park because you're for sure getting that money with each sale. Um, just on the first level, I know if you recruit an agent and they cap out, which is about $80,000 in gross commissions, um, you're gonna be awarded about $3,200 at the end of the year. Um, Keller Williams, it's kind of the same basis in terms of you recruit somebody in and you get a profit of their um, cap towards each year, but it's really dependent on each office's profitability and each office's profitability 49% or 48% is going to go to the actual owners and then the 52% is going to go back to the agents in terms of profit share so you can really see it you know it heavily weighs on how well that office is doing and um, I've only been an agent for two years now so I've only been up during the high times but I imagine when the market shifts and there's less sales that dramatically affects profit share. <clears throat> but uh, overall, in terms of what I see with EXP, um, I honestly think their recruiting model and the way they've grown is absolutely brilliant. Um, they really use the association bias where they brought in big influencers, mega agents, and to kind of be their main recruiters. And those mega agents and anybody that does have a strong influence in the real estate industry really has a strong incentive to bring as many people as they can in. Um, me personally, you know, if I'm looking five years down the road and I was able to develop either a very strong team of 30 plus agents or just a very strong influence, whether it's a strong following, like in terms of a Facebook group or, you know, a YouTube channel where there's a lot of agents looking in on me. EXP is really the way that these people are really cashing out today. Um, what I'm seeing some of these people with a large following do, um, some examples, Gene Frederick, you know, Jay Kinder, I know AJ Mida, Real Estate Uncensored. Um, the way I'm kind of analyzing, and it seems like they're recruiting so many agents, is that basically they're bringing them into EXP and if they sign under, you know, their name saying, you know, say Nick Ottenbacher brought me into EXP or somebody that I already recruited, so they're on their downline, they're basically offering them, you know, some type of coaching and some type of incentive to bring them along. And this is helping develop their downline so strongly. And um, I know there's multiple people with 800 plus people already in their downline. Um, I know there's about 16,000 to 20,000 is the current agent count, and there's already some agents with 800 plus in their downline. Now, if you're considering all those 800 
were half cappers. And it really, you know, this is an, an exact number because they could really be anywhere down those seven levels um, down of where they were recruited. But 800 people is bringing in these guys roughly $100,000 every month in passive income. <laughs> 100000 in passive income every single month. It's, it's absolutely unbelievable. And I'm still shocked by, you know, even people that are still very strong and, you know, with the companies that they brought up, I'd say they're almost grandfathered in. Um, I'm still surprised that they're not making that jump to EXP, um, to be completely honest. Um, if you look up Gene Frederick's story, I think he was one of the first 50 people to actually join EXP. But before he did, he owned 50, or no, he owned uh, six Keller Williams brokerages. So he owned six market centers and he sold every single one of those market centers off. He went and joined EXP and think about the influence that he has owning six different market centers and the type of agents that he's able to bring on. Um, one most recently in my area, Mark Z, he joined. I know he um, his story, if you look him up, he was really considering starting his own brokerage. He bought the office space. Um, you could stay in a sense he was grandfathered in Keller Williams, but he was already deciding to make that jump. But even him making the jump, just putting each one of those probably 30 to 40 different employees into EXP, how much money that he's already making in his downline by those 40, that's at level one. All those 40 people recruiting for him, plus he's got the leverage to reach out to every single agent, not only in Michigan, but you know, really in the world, to say, hey, if you join an EXP, put you in your downline, he can offer some value. So um, you know, I'm not 100% certain what these guys are doing, but I imagine you know, these high influencers, mega agents are bringing people into EXP, offering like a once a week group coaching where he does you know, Q&A with whoever's in his downline and that's the value to join. So, you know, he could pitch it to me, say, hey, Nick, you join my downline and you get to speak to me, somebody that's selling 500 homes a year and ask me any questions once a week. That's, that's a pretty strong value proposition. So, um, and you know, what I'm really seeing is there's so many mega agents, large influencers join, joining EXP. Um, I almost feel like the ones that aren't are the ones that are so grandfathered in to their companies. Um, you know, you look at like Jeff Glover, um, he's somebody that owns multiple market centers. He's been with Keller Williams for a while. And you know, he's has Gary Keller as you know, a mentor, somebody that he's talking to. So he sees the value in Keller Williams. But um, on the flip side, you know, it's hard to believe somebody like Jeff Glover joins EXP how many people that he could recruit in using that same model if he was like, hey, you know, you have access to me to answer, ask any questions. I'm selling a thousand homes a year for, you know, five plus years now and the type of people that he could get in his downline just like that. Um, I'm sure he has a very strong profit share, but I'd, you know, be really interested to see the two side by side, the same amount of recruiting and really how much that brings to you. Um, and you know, it's something that's very, very, you know, interesting situation. Um, right now, you know, I've been looking into it, you know, I've been asking myself, you know, why don't you join EXP? Um, for me personally, um, I just don't feel like I have that type of influence right now to be able to bring on a lot of agents with me. And I really think that's a strong value proposition right now. Um, if you were to join an EXP, it's, you know, how many agents can you recruit? Um, and it's an attractive model too, because really, you know, your fees are going to be the same, um, in some senses and, you know, some cases between some brokerages, your fees are actually going to be quite a bit lower. But, um, if you're really not taking advantage of the revenue sharing model, um, I really don't see the advantages with joining, but if you have an influence, if you even look down your list of contacts and say, Hey, there's 10 people here that if I joined, I can offer them once a week coaching and I think I could bring them in. 
you know, I think, you know, if you keep those 10 people and even bring in 10 a year and all the people that they bring in, um, I think it's, you know, pretty unbelievable with how much money that you could be bringing in. Um, I saw an example, you know, one person, if they cap out, it's about, you know, 3000 per month or per year. So it's about $250 per year. Um, you know, that's like buying a property for a hundred thousand, maybe a hundred fifty thousand, bringing you that cash flow of two hundred fifty dollars per month, equal to recruiting one agent that caps. Um, and I know, you know, if you look online, passive income is something that's a big hit nowadays. So I can see, you know, why this model is so influential. And I think, um, you know, for so many years, you've had the major uh, franchises. You know, whether it's Keller Williams, Century Twenty One. Remax and all these different uh, franchises that had such a large market share and EXP really thought outside the box by pure you know association bias bringing on these major agents that were able to attract a ton of agents to bring them on board um, you know I consider it like Nike you know they're hiring the top athletes to bring in you know as many sales as they can you know you've got LeBron James you've got Kevin Durant um, and so on and so forth EXP had the same model you know you bring on a Gene Frederick you bring on a Mark Z a Kyle Whistle and they've got such a strong influence on the real estate industry that they're able to bring on a ton of agents um, those are my thoughts with EXP um, if I might have fumbled around some things I just really started looking at them you know within the past week but I'd certainly love to hear your thoughts, whether you're with EXP, you're on the outside looking in like me, and just kind of see what your thoughts are and what's your thoughts of the future with EXP. Uh, me personally, I think it'd be interesting to kind of see what's that next brokerage that really tries to copy this EXP model because the ones that are really raking in are the early adopters that they're already hitting that you know fourth, fifth, sixth level and they're already cashing in and like i said you know there's people with over a thousand uh people in their downline and they're bringing in a hundred thousand dollars every month of passive income it's unbelievable well i appreciate you listening again nick ottenbacher send your southeast michigan referrals thank you